Hey everyone, it's Lisa here. Welcome back to Crochet with Lisa. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this stitch. So this is like a basket weave stitch. It's a pretty simple stitch to crochet. Just consists of front post double crochets and back post double crochets. As well as the beginning and the end of each row will have one double crochet. This stitch can be crocheted with the yarn of your choice. Just check on the label of your yarn to see what size hook they recommend. I hope you find this video easy to follow. You enjoy crocheting projects using this really cute stitch. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel to follow along with some other great projects. So let's get started. To start the basket stitch, we're gonna need a chain that is in multiples of six and then add three to the end. So for example, I'm going to make a chain that is 51 stitches long. So six times eight is 48 and then plus three will make 51. So I have my 51 chains. So for our next step, we're going to do a double crochet in our third chain from the hook. So one, two, three, double crochet in there. Then we're gonna double crochet in each chain all the way across. At the end of this row, we're gonna chain two, which takes the place of a double crochet. We're gonna turn our work. So we're not working in this first double crochet from the row before because we've just done a chain two over it, which is a double crochet. So in our first three double crochets from this first row, we're gonna do a front post double crochet. So front post double crochet is yarn over. Instead of working into the top of our double crochet, we're gonna go around that post and just complete a double crochet in there. Same thing in our second one, so we're going to yarn over, go around the post, and complete our double crochet. We'll do our third one. So that's three front post double crochets. Now we're going to do three back post double crochets. So yarn over, we're going to go, if you need to turn your work to see that post, you can, but you're going to work behind that post. So you can put your hook in behind Go around that post, complete your double crochet. So we're gonna do three back post double crochets. Okay, so that is the pattern we're gonna follow all the way along. Three front post double crochets, three back post double crochets. So I'll meet you at the end of the row and we'll talk about our next row. All right, so I'm at the end of this row and I've just finished with three back post double crochets. And right here at the very end in your chain two, going to put a double crochet. So you're always going to end your row with three of the same, whether they're front post double crochets or back post double crochets, and then you need to do a just one single double crochet. So at the beginning of each row and at the end of each row, there is a double crochet, whether that's a chain two or a double crochet. Okay, so now we're going to chain two. So always at the end of our row, we're gonna chain two Again, that's our double crochet. We're going to turn our work. And we can see that here, we can see front post double crochets because we end it with back post, but because we're on the other side, now these are front post double crochets. And then here we have the back post double crochets. So in, a, in your front post double crochet, you're going to do a front post double crochet. So that's gonna be three front post double crochets. And then we'll do 
three back post double crochets. So we're going to continue that same pattern all the way along. Three front post double crochets and then three back post double crochets. And then I'll meet you at the end of this row and we'll talk about our next row. I'm at the end of that row. Just finished my last three back post double crochets. So we have to put a double crochet in the top of that chain two. And then we'll chain two. We'll turn our work. We have completed three rows, but only the last two are our rows that we repeat because that first row we just did double crochets all the way across. Now if you want to put a stitch marker on this side, you can. Because when we start on this side, we're going to change the way of, that we're doing our front posts and back posts. So we can see that I have three front post double crochets here, but now we're going to change it because the basket weave, we're alternating between this look and this look. So now we want to change. So we have our first double crochet with that chain two. So we're going to do three back post double crochets. And then where we see our back post double crochets, we're going to do front post double crochets. So we'll do three front post double crochets. So we'll continue that all the way across, we're just following the same pattern now three back post double crochets, three front, front post double crochets, three back post, three front posts. Continue that all the way along and I'll meet you at the end of this row. So I've made it to the end of this row and I end it with three front post double crochets and then my one double crochet into that chain two. So now we're going to chain two and turn. So this is the back of the work. And on the back of the work, you always repeat what you see. So here we have back post double crochets. So I'm going to do three back post double crochets. Then we have our front post double crochets. So we'll do three front post double crochets. So we'll just continue this pattern all the way across. Three back post double crochets, three front post double crochets. I'll meet you at the end and we will see how this looks and how to continue on. All right, I'm just finishing up this row. I've done my last three front post double crochets and just gonna put in my ending double crochet. Chain two, turn. So this is what our basket weave looks like. We just continue in the same pattern that we did with our last four rows. So because we're at the front, 
we're going to switch from back post double crochets to front post double crochets. So we're just alternating in this row. So front post here, back post there. So that's how you do the basket weave stitch. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You found it easy to follow. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel to follow along with some other great projects. So have a great day and happy crocheting. Thank you.